three. <clears throat> What's up guys, today I'll be teaching you guys how to play What Would You Do by Horn featuring Pink Sweat and I haven't seen any guitar tutorial on YouTube yet so yeah hopefully this will be the first one so for this tutorial I'll be just using bar chords if you guys are not familiar with bar chords you guys can get a capo and just put it on the third fret and I'll just edit the video later and just show you guys what chords you can use if you guys have to keep on the third fret, okay? So yeah, let's get started. So basically for the intro, there are just four chords. That's the G minor. That's the F. That's the C minor slash G. Or you can just play C minor, totally fine. And then that's the D minor. Alright, so just those four chords for the intro. So how are you going to play is like this. You're going to play... G minor beat one. One, two. And of three, you're gonna play an F. And of four, you're gonna play a C minor slash G. And that's the first bar. Second bar, you're gonna play the C minor on three. So for the third bar, you're gonna play a C minor on beat one. A D minor on the end of three. And a G minor on the end of four. So if you put it together, it'll sound like this. One, Right, and fourth bar, you're just gonna just take a rest, you're not gonna play anything. So that's the first part of the intro. And then there's the second part of the intro, where it's just instrumental, you can call it interlude. So basically, this is how it goes, right? It's the same as the verse, the chords are the same, the strumming pattern is the same. So you're gonna play a G minor for the first bar, and you're gonna play it like this. One and two and three and four and... Okay? Then the next bar, you're gonna play a D minor on the end of one, one and. You're gonna play a C minor on the end of two, two and. Then you're gonna keep the C minor and you're gonna strum this. Three and, four and. So for the second bar, you'll go like this. One and, two and, three and, four and. So if you combine the two bars, you'll go like this. One and, two and. So basically that was just a two bar strumming pattern and you're just going to repeat this two bar strumming pattern to crew out the whole song. The chords are going to change but the strumming pattern is going to stay the same. So that was the first two bars of the second half of the intro. Now we're going to play the next two bars. So for the next two bars, we're going to play a C minor. Same strumming pattern as the first bar. One and two and three and four and... Alright, then we're going to keep the same strumming pattern as what we did on the second bar, right? But now we're going to play a D minor and G minor. So it'll be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So if you combine those four bars together, this is what it'll sound like. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. So we just played the second half of the intro. The four bars and repeats again because the second half of the intro is eight bars and we're going to go to the verse so the verse is pretty much the exact same thing as we just played just use the same strumming pattern and the same chords and the verse is eight bars long so just repeat what we just played so now that we've learned that strumming pattern basically you're going to use the strumming pattern in the verse and also in the pre-chorus so the verse is eight bars long so take that four bars and just multiply it by two repeat it and the pre-chorus is also two bars long, so just repeat it again. Now I'm gonna learn the chorus, okay? So this is how the chorus be like. So you're gonna keep the same strumming pattern, right? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and, okay? So these are the chords for the chorus. So the first bar, you're gonna play a G minor. One and two and three and four and. Second bar, you're gonna play an F on the end of one. One and. And of two, you're gonna play a B flat major. Two and three and four and. Then you're gonna play a C minor 
on the third bar. One and two and three and four and. Followed by a C minor again on the fourth bar, the end of one. One and. Then go and play a D major chord to and three and four and. Then after that, you're gonna go back to the G minor. gonna go to the F and B flat again. One and two and three and four and. Now you're gonna go to an E flat major. One and two and three and four and. And for the very last bar of the chorus, the eight bar, you're just gonna strum a D sus four on beat one. One, two, and on beat three, you're gonna strum a D major chord. Three, four. So in total, it'll sound like this, okay? One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one two and three and four and one. And basically, that's it. That's the chorus. So the chorus is eight bars long. Okay, so after the first chorus, we're gonna go to the interlude, and the interlude is the same as the verse and the pre chorus, the same chords. The interlude is just four bars long. Then it goes back to the second verse, and then goes back to the second pre chorus, and then we have the bridge. So the bridge is eight bars long. So this is how it goes you're gonna play a G minor seven, just strum it on the first beat of the bar. One, two, three, four, and on the for the end of four of the first bar, you're gonna play a D minor seven. Four and one, two, three, four. So it leads into the second bar, right? Third bar, you're gonna play a C minor seven on the end of one. One and two, three, four. And you're gonna play an F9 on the first beat of the fourth bar. So after that, you're just going to repeat the four bars again because the bridge is eight bars long. So let me play the whole thing for you. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome! Then after that, it's the solo, and it's basically just the same chords as the verse, and it's eight bars long. Then finally, it goes back to the chorus, and the chorus is played twice here, and then the song ends. So there you have it. That's the whole song for What Would You Do. So let's just go through the form to make sure we're all on the same page. So in total, the form of this song is this. We have First part of the intro, the second part of the intro, the verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus, and interlude. After that, it goes to the verse, the pre-chorus, goes to the bridge, it has a solo, and it ends with two choruses. And there you have it. That's the entire song. So I hope you guys had fun learning this song. If you guys like this guitar tutorial, please smash that like button because it will help me with the algorithm and promote this video to the right people and please subscribe to my youtube channel because i post regular guitar lessons here and i hope to see you guys in the next video all right take care guys bye bye